Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. We have gained a hint of clarity about nature on this farm, the conditions, the seasons, especially the rainfall. We try to make improvements of what was neglected in the past. We try to observe, learn and grow. In these swales we have a lot of organic material. We want to cut down on evaporation. Still, we have some standing water. And uh, that is good. I have to search for it. I don't see it from the outside because of this branches and brush we have in here. Lots and lots of it. These swales will be cleared from the growth of our winter, our Mediterranean springtime, our Mediterranean growth time. Water in the swale, the berm, seepage. Now we have installed, made, improvised a system of measuring the seepage, the infiltration of this water. So next to the berm, I tilt the first three centimeters of the topsoil and I've planted some alfalfa and then a few meters lower I repeated the process and this carries on and this is what we want to monitor even here no, this is a spider web. This is not water. Optical illusion. Okay. Swale with water. Next to the berm, we planted some alfalfa. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more plantings. A few meters apart, more or less on contour. I just eyeballed it. And uh, let's see if the alfalfa grows the best next to the swale. Okay, I learned something. And then perhaps certain areas here will grow better than other areas. I will also learn something. This was completely covered with the brush, the chara, the cystus. We have cleared this area. So this is new terrain for us. This was only done last week where the green is. We have done a year before. I'm really looking forward to learn, see how the infiltration of water that we have collected now is the third time this calendar here. How does it change the conditions below it? So it will be a good indicator. It is not that scientific. It's not an instrument, it is just a fun way of trying to learn and I'm looking forward to learn. A few branches came down from these anthenas, these holm oaks 
and uh, especially the ones that touches the earth soil we want to get them higher up it makes it easier for us to move around and do things it's a very difficult concept for me to grasp what to prune and what not but I will learn a five meter extension on the chainsaw is quite heavy and difficult to maneuver so uh, one should be one should have some help human help beautiful trees most of them will just leave or cut out some dead branches like the one in front of me I have no idea what to improve on that perhaps just that very low hanging branches and the rest is for the specialist or to leave in this part of the world we have still unfortunately many people that promote themselves as arborists but uh, what they do is they say they do it for free and they take the wood with them so what happens is they cut as much as they can so that they can have as much free firewood as possible to sell and that is not my idea the tiller is now parked here I want to repeat the same planting here but with wheat and rye sorghum first lane is growing well here on the pond wall I inoculated the pond but it was very little water I will have to repeat that process several times there's already this green form on top of the water and uh, as soon as sky swims the orange just is more pronounced come let's go shrug irrigation it's time for the dogs to lose some hair because uh, it's not that cold anymore we have a recurring new year's resolution that is to every year plant a rose garden somewhere on the farm this is the second and the farmer's wife then took a lot of cuttings here they are and uh, from the mother plant these are all cuttings from the mother plants we have already planted so uh, this cutting was taken a year ago and that is very special that's a blood red rose which we like a lot stunning the oyster mushrooms 
that we received as a gift from visitors. We thought they have outgrown themselves. So I took the whole square meter inoculated sawdust oyster mushroom complex and I dumped it here. And voila, we have new ones. This is a good spot, I think. Lots of old rotten material next to the creek. Under this huge core tree. Looks good. Tomorrow the farmer's wife is off again to go and see her grandchild and that makes me happy that to see the new lease on life she has received with the grandchild. Maybe that is the strongest indicator of nature one can experience. Till next time, goodbye.